In this video we're going to show you how to easily edit images online for free including cropping, resizing, all of that great stuff. So the first thing to do is go to pixlr.com and then click open photo editor. Now if you've already got your image saved on your computer, you just click open image for computer, browse to it. We've got a lovely picture here of Miss Universe. So we can drag this out so we can have a bit more room here as well. And on the right hand side here you can see that we can zoom in and out. But 100% is essentially what it's going to look like when it's finished. So keep it there if you can. So the first thing we might want to do is have a look at how big this picture is. So if we go to image, image size, it's 600 by 400 pixels wide. So let's say it's too high and we want it to be more like 600 by 200. And we kind of just want the top half. Currently we're on the crop tool. I mean, if you hover over all of these, it, they mean different things, like that's the ma magic wand tool. But we're going to use the crop tool. So we drag out here until it's about 200 pixels. And now you can see on the right hand side where it says Navigator, it's 200 pixels high. So I go like that, I click anywhere here, it says do you want to apply the changes, and I click yes. And now the picture's 200 pixels high. If I want to save it right now, I can go File, Save, give it a different name if I like, and also a different file type. I can adjust the image quality of the JPEG as well if I want to. So let's see how big the image is right now. Once again, I go to image, image size. It's 600 pixels wide. Let's say I want it to be 400 pixels wide. You can see this height automatically changes so that it's in proportion. So say I want to adjust the face of, let's say, Miss Australia here. What I could do is use the crop tool once again. If I wanted this, approximately this part of her face, I put it over there, apply the changes and then you can see the image size at the moment is 76 by 70. I want, it, I want to have it end up being 50 by 50. So what I do here is I change the lowest number, this height, to be 50, and now the width is 54. Now I need that 54 width to come down to 50 width. So I can go to image canvas size, so this is the, the size of the whole picture, and I can change this now, the width, to 50. This little thing, anchor, this is where you start measuring um, the width of 50 from. So as an example, if I start measuring the width of 50 pixels from the left, it's going to crop it from the right. So you can see now once I hit OK, the right side got a little bit smaller. If I'm happy with that image, I can now go File, Save, and then choose whatever format I want, PNG as an example. Um, and that's going to crunch down to a really small file size now of 8 kilobytes, which is what you want, the, the smallest uh, file size possible. I can save it there, and now it's now on my desktop. If I want to zoom in to see what it looks like, I can do that. And once again, this is the actual size of how big it will look on the actual website. So that's how you do basic image editing online for free. There's obviously so many other things you could use it for here. Smudge, it's like Photoshop for free essentially. So have fun with that. If you like this video, please hit the like button or subscribe or comment down below. And I'll see you on the next video.